Hi everyone, so in the part A of the end problem of 4.32, I actually implemented that function using the A to 1 line multiplexer and now we are given the representation of a function in the slightly different form means as the product of the max term. In order to represent the function as the summation of its mean terms, we will be writing down those mean terms that are missing in this expression. So mean term 0, 1, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14 and 15 are actually those mean terms where the function value is equal to 1 while for the rest of the mean terms its value is equal to 0. Okay. I will place 1 at the 0 mean term then 1 again 0, 1 for the 2 it will be equal to 0 for 3 it is 1 for 4, 5 then 6 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, it's 0, then for 10, 11, 11 uh, sorry, 9, and then 10, then for the 11, it's 0, for the 12, it's equal to 1, for the 12 then for the 13 it's equal to 1 then for the 14 and 15 okay while designing the function using the multiplexer the first step is to take the last variable input variable separate it from the remaining input variables and then partition them for the same combinations like I will draw the partition for here because for these partitioning these variables do not change the values why I am doing so because I will write the last variable or the function in terms of the last variables and these remaining variables will act as the select lines for this marks okay so here a b and c will act as the select lines which is equal to n which is equal to 3 we know that for n select lines we have 2 raised to power n which is equal to 2 raised to power 3 and it's equal to 8 input lines okay now let's write down the remaining uh, the function in terms of the remaining variable d so for d changing 0 to 1 the function is having the constant value equal to 1 similarly here f is equal to d because when d is equal to 0 f is equal to 0 when d is equal to 1 f is equal to 1 again here f retains or its value is equal to 1 no matter d is changing from 0 to 1 here again f is equal to d f is equal to 1 f is equal to D complement since when D is equal to 0, F is equal to 1 and when D is equal to 1, F is equal to 0. For the remaining outputs, you can write that F is equal to 1 and F is equal to 1. So, F is actually most of the times constant in this case. We will be using again A to 1 line marks. Here, you will have 8 input line starting from i0, i1, i2, i3, i4, i5, i6 and then i7 and then in the next step you will write select line s0, s1 and s2 where you will mark a, b and c right over here. For the D, you know that F is equal to 1 when you select line or the select lines having the combination equal to 0, 0 and 0. F is equal to 1 or you can say the first input is actually at the logic level 1. Okay, you can also mark it with some battery or plus 5 volts if you want to show that in terms of the logic level. Similarly, when you are having the select line combination equal to 0, 0, 1, 
or the first stack line to be selected at that moment the function value f should be equal to d so i will draw d input over here and i will pass it to i1 or connect it with i1 then next i2 is again equal to 1 that's why f is equal to 1 i have connected it with 1 okay then f is equal to d in this case so i will take the connection from here and i will pass or connect it with i3 next is f is again equal to 1 for i4 then f is equal to d complement so i will take the inverted value of d and pass it or connect it with i5 and for the next two select line combination i is equal to or f is equal to 1 okay so in this way using a to one line marks you have implemented the function thank you for watching if you have any question you can drop your question in the comment session and i'll try my best to answer you